afternoon. It's New Year's Day. Uh, Happy New Year. Every New Year's Day the cinema closes. I, I wouldn't want to work New Year's Eve and I don't think I should uh, make the staff do. So the cinema's closed but I'm in just doing a few bits and pieces and I uh, thought I'd just share a couple of things with you. So um, as you know we're about, to, well we will be screening the new film Empire of Light which is out on the 9th of January. Uh, I want to show you this projector behind me. This is on the stairwell, many of you will have seen it as you come in. Um, this is a Gorman Cayley 20, very similar to the projectors that are used in Empire of Light, which is focused, or should I say based, in an uh, independent cinema. Um, I think it's just one I used to have, but it is an independent cinema. And that cinema uses two of these projectors side by side, which this very cinema used to do back in the day. Um, what I'm going to do is grab this spool, if you can just bear with me, I'll pull this spool out. Now this spool will hold a single reel of film, it's important that you remember that, um, because I'm going to explain in a slightly nerdy fashion what we're going to do uh, when it comes to screening Empire of Light. So upstairs into the old uh, circle foyer, now screen one's foyer, um, behind me on the wall is a blow-up of a photograph of one of the original projectionists here in the 1950s and he's threading up um, one of the Cayley projectors which were upstairs and uh, there was two side by side um, there isn't at the moment but there will be and this is the uh, this is the film that we're talking about this is Empire of Light it stars Olivia Coleman um, it's getting rave reviews everyone wants to see it really needs to be seen in an independent cinema. Not necessarily, not necessarily this one, but any independent cinema. So I'm gonna pop through into the screen now and uh, show you what, uh, what things we've got planned. So we're in screen one of this lovely, uh, lovely old cinema. And if you look on the back wall, just above the clock, you'll see two sets of what are known in the trade as portals. Um, these are used to project the film onto the screen. Um, and also for the projectionist to be able to see what's happening on the screen. These are still in use today and we'll pop upstairs in a minute and uh, I'll show you what, uh, what's behind them and what we're planning. This is something that you'll only really find in independent cinemas these days. That's curtains, stage lights and presentation to be fair. Um, we don't have IMAX, we don't have 4DX, we don't have um, Screen 270 or whatever it's called. What we do have is presentation and we can do a colour change on the curtains which is happening now the curtains we can open which is happening now um, this all adds to the presentation of the film this is something that doesn't happen unfortunately in many if any multiplexes these days the other thing we can do is we can change the aspect ratio of the screen so we're not on a fixed aspect ratio that's what's called flat or 185 and we can go to cinemascope so you see the screen's widening that's widening out to cinema scope. Many multiplexes, the screen is already set in one format or the other, and you just get a black band top and bottom or each side, depending on what's going on. Right, on to the projection room. Here we are in our lovely little original projection room. This is uh, the original projection room from when the place was built in 1956. Still got a very highly polished parquet floor. And this projection room is where I started my career in cinemas uh, more than 40 years ago. Hard to believe, I know, but there we are. Um, so we're at the other side of those portals now, that's one set and that's the other set and the reason there's two is or, uh, a, a, a low one and a high one, the low one is there, the lower one, this is where the beam of light is projected from a projector out onto the screen, that's what that one's for and the one above it is for the projectionist to be able to see the screen to focus and align the picture, etc. etc. That's why there's that's why there's two. But why two sets? Why do we need two sets? At the moment the digital projector is looking out of that set of portals and this 35mm projector, which is one of the original ones from 1972, um, is looking out the other one. Originally this projection room had two of this type of 35mm projector and um, the projectionist would change over midway, part way through the show from one reel to another. Um, that obviously disappeared when the advent of these things came out, which is a platter. 
and on a platter you can run five, six, seven, twelve reels onto a, a one disc and it will then play all the reels joined together, it will play seamlessly from one platter back to another via the projector. But for Empire of Light, um, they did reinstate a good old fashioned projection room with two projectors and they ran, the, the, you can see the film, the projectionist running film in there on single reel changeovers, which means every 20 minutes they would change from this projector to that one, back again, back again, back again. And if it's done properly, the audience doesn't notice that, apart from if you look above your head, you'll see the beam of light flicking from one portal to the other. So what I'm planning to do is to move this machine, the digital projector, that's gonna move over to the left. It's gonna sit by that portal there. So it's gonna move about a meter just over, and that'll free up this space. And then in this space, I've already started to build up another 35 mil machine, which is identical to the one that's just been running. Um, obviously it needs quite a lot of work yet, so I've got a busy two weeks ahead of me. Um, but my intention is to build that machine up, stick it there, connect it, align it, and uh, away we go. We should be able to do 20 minute changeovers. Um, so we will run single reels. I'll show you what single reel is in a minute. Um, but what, um, what, what basically happens on a changeover, let's say this is the outgoing projector, the light's shining through the screen, and at the right point, on the, with looking at Q dots on the screen, the projectionist hits a button and this thing here will drop, and as it drops, the light disappears. At the same time, on the incoming projector, which is just at the start of the next reel, the similar, the similar shutter will lift and light shines out. So basically it changes from one to the other in a, in a split second, and at the same time it changes the sound from one projector to the other as well. So everything goes over at once and uh, it should all be nice and smooth. That's the plan. So why single reels? This is a film print, 35mm film print. This has got five reels. Some have six, some have eight, some have four. Depends what, uh, on the length of the film. Approximately 20 minutes of film there. Um, so this is the spool that I took off the projector downstairs and that will carry that amount of film. So that spool will, do, will uh, hold 20 minutes worth of film. But obviously when it gets to the end, it's going to get to the end and we then need to do something. So um, the old system, which ran in this cinema until the early 70s, was changing over every 20 minutes. And that's what we're going to do. Um, we could run all those reels. This is not the print, by the way, it's just a print. We could run all those reels onto this platter and run it in one. Um, but where's the fun in that? Um, we could also use a larger spoon, such as that one which will fit comfortably on this machine. Um, and this spool will hold three reels. So that will do um, an hour, roughly an hour of film. So we could run an hour of film and then change over. But where's the fun in that? I want to run it as single reels as it is on the film. So that's what it's all about. That's what I'm planning to do. That's what's gonna keep me busy. As you've probably gathered, I'm quite nerdy about film, projectors, sound, curtains, presentation, um, it's been my life for the last 40 plus years, so uh, I do have a passion for it and my technical background lets me, uh, gives me the opportunity and the ability to play around with projectors and reinstalling the old style projector and doing changeovers and things like that. Um, when Disney and uh, Searchlight Pictures kindly um, agreed to let us have a 35mm print of it, I said, well, if that's the case, let's show that 35mm print um, as it used to be shown. And certainly as the films are shown on, the, um, on Empire of Light in the projection room there. So that's what this is all about. It's just going back to old school. Uh, just a bit of fun, really. Uh, great big pile of work for me, but there we are. Uh, keeps me off the streets. Uh, I do feel that this film um, being set as it is in such a, a lovely... You'll see it. It's such a lovely... Um, old school at cinema, I do feel that it would benefit from being seen in an independent cinema. Not necessarily this one, but you know, the, the curtains, the, the variable screen masking, the lighting, um, the personalities in these cinemas, including this one, um, are what shine through in the film. So, it, it, as I said earlier, there's not really any point, there's nothing to be gained from seeing it in a large format. There's nothing to be gained from seeing it with moving seats or multiple channels of surround. That's not what this film's about. There's no 3D version. Uh, it's a good old-fashioned film, um, good old-fashioned 2D, 
go and see it in the good old fashioned cinema. That's 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 all I can say. Um, the first few, the first few screenings and and probably um, quite a lot of the screenings will be on the uh, shown digitally on this thing on the digital projector. So it'll be shown in exactly the same way as uh, most films are at the moment. It's basically played from the server and there's nothing moving other than the fans and I suppose the disc in the hard drive. Um, so not all our shows will be 35 mil. The, the early ones, and certainly probably the majority of shows, will be will be digital. But we'll make it plain when we're showing from 35 mil on changeovers. And we'll also give you the opportunity, if you want to, to come up to the projection room afterwards and uh, have a poke around in in my uh, in my train set, as I like to call it, and uh, see see what goes on up here, basically. So yeah, go see Empire of Light. It's out on the 9th. Uh, I've actually seen it. I went to an exhibitor screening in London a few weeks ago. It's a lovely film. Olivia Coleman's part, uh, the part she plays, she plays it so well. Um, it's it's just it's a lovely little film. So yeah, go see it. Preferably in an independent, but you know, the choice is yours, as always. And we uh, hope to see you soon. In the meantime, have a very happy new year. It is New Year's Day after all. And uh, as I said, we'll see you. Hope to see you in the next few weeks.